write and graph exponential functions. Okay, so now we have our y equals a times b to the x, okay, which is what we have for our growth, except b is between 0 and 1. So b is a fraction uh, between 0 and 1, then your uh, values will decrease. They'll get smaller and smaller, closer and closer to zero. Okay? So uh, let's take a look at uh, example one. Here's your chart. Negative one, zero, one, and two. Again, the difference here is plus one. And then your y values are two, eight, 32 and 128. Somebody tell me what happens there. Okay. By four. Okay, so this is exponential. What do we know about our A and our B? Who can tell me A and B? So what's A and what's B? Find it the same way you did yesterday.
Okay, so you can say y is greater than zero. That would be fine. Yes? So if the line crosses the y-axis, it's all real numbers for your dummy. And whatever side the line is on, on the x-axis is what, what the range could be. Like if on the that um, the graph, yeah, because the line crosses over the y-axis, all it's all real numbers, right? The dummy, and then the lines on the um, above the x-axis, so it makes all up. Right. It's not; it'll never touch the x-axis, no matter what you plug in. Okay. All right. Now this one, for our purposes, in this problem. Okay. In, in this problem. We see that it is shrinking. The value is shrinking. So that's why this is called k decay. Again, all the x values will work. So all real numbers. And then for your domain, all the positives. Y greater than zero. That makes sense? All right. What? The domain is all real. So, 
it depreciates. Fourteen percent annually. What is it worth? After four years. Now, do you all agree that that was a very applicable story problem? Yeah, that word applicable means so I can't say apply, apply to real it life. applies to real life and is necessary. Okay. Yeah. The bank is somebody's not going to buy your car if you say it's worth twenty-two thousand. You bought it four years ago for twenty-five thousand. People kind of know that that's not really what your cars work, but they need to know how to figure that out. Okay. That means like after like seven years, it's worth nothing. Well, that's pretty close to about right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's worth something. It does kind of slow down. But this annual thing. Once a year. Once a year. Yep. So let's set this up. Y equals what's a? Everybody. What's a? Initial amount. Twenty-five thousand. Job, sir. One minus, we're minusing because oh, it's that's depreciating. One that's depreciating. What's my rate? 0.14. How many times a year? Okay, so it's just 0.14. To what power? Four. The way. Yeah. You're four. Sorry. Four. Now, I want everybody to try to do this on your own. And then I'll show you how to do it on the calculator. Everybody figure it out. Try. Order of operations. Welcome back to basic math. Do you know your order of operations? And those of you who don't know your order of operations and depend on the calculator to do it right because you think you're entering it into the calculator, probably you're not going to get it right because you struggle at putting it in the track calculator correctly. But some of you have figured out how to do it. Well, I'm not using my calculator for the whole thing. I'm just using it for whatever you need to. Just get the answer. Oh. You don't need to do it for the whole thing. But you can. Yeah. I got, Man. I got thirteen thousand six hundred and seventy-five dollars and points. That's what I got. Hold on. No, that's right. I got point and then four pence of a cent, but yeah. So that's what it's worth at fourteen percent of the depreciation. No. But after four years, depending on what kind of car it is, what kind of shape it's in, how many miles are on it. Got a whole bunch of stuff that goes into it. Factor that what you got put on the car when you bought it. Is there anything special? You put a sunroof in. That thing depreciated. You know. What if you leave the car in your garage for the whole time you have it? You never put any gas in it, and you change the oil like once a month. How much would it be worth after seven years? Why would you change the oil? Why would you don't need to change the oil. Just to keep it in nice shape. Okay. Well, first of all, it's not worth twenty bucks. It's not worth twenty five thousand anymore. Even if you just sit it? Because I heard it loses I heard it loses like two thousand dollars as soon as you drive it on the antique car. Yeah, it loses it loses outside of it having to raise the price of the car. Yeah, I think some questions and answer it for me, so. Alright, the assignment. Yeah, Josh, way to answer it for me. All right, uh, four to 30 evens and number 48. Yes. 